everybody welcome back today's card is going to be a feminine card and I'm going to be sharing this die with you here so let me just hold it up hopefully it's focusing there and it's a skirt it's a lady's skirt and what you do is if you can see closely on this die here um, the sort of these indentation lines they're not cutting lines they're actually score lines so that you can pleat the skirt I'll just show you quickly this is the card that we're going to make today so you can see what the skirt looks like so to start off with we'll do the skirt and I've cut it from this paper pad here it's called cardboard patterns if I think I bought this one from the works um, I think it was two pounds um, and it's got some lovely lovely glittered card stock in and it's nice and thick it's 250 gsm so it's made that skirt lovely so i've chosen a floral piece to do my skirt so i'm going to try and show you close up it's sort of they just fold over on top of each other once you've got the crease right if you can see like that see where i'm folding over and the score lines are really really easy to to follow so i had a little play with it before in fact i've had this die for quite a while and i've only just got it out i thought i'll have a little play with this one today and see what we can come up with so I'm just folding along as you can see. Yeah, so this die set, it was £1.21 and you get the little skirt and you also get three, I'll show you now, little sort of bodices if you like to call them, like little, little tops to go with the skirt. Okay, so I've done that there. And if you can just see, let me just hold it onto something white there, hopefully you can see what I've done there it's just folding 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 over and like I said you can see the the fold lines in the skirt and the you get three of these like I just said you get three different top bits to wear with the skirt if you like and there was ones there okay I've chosen one and I've cut it just in white now my card's not very difficult one today I'm just doing a nice feminine card I just wanted to have a little play with that die because it's been there like I said for a while and I haven't played with it at all okay then to start off with I'm using just a small A6 card today and I've cut myself a piece of this lovely floral paper matching the skirt from that paper pad so I'm just going to mat this down first and I'm just using believe it or not this little tape runner fingers crossed up to now is one of the cheapest ones I've ever bought and it was from Hobbycraft it was only a pound and it works touch wood up to now really really good next I've cut myself this lovely scalloped oval and that is from these dies here and you get one six dies that's the biggest one there and then they go down obviously in size I will do my best to link those for you I use these quite a lot they're nice for matting and layering with so I'm going to flat stick this just onto this base card so I'm going to stick this just in the middle of my card and then I'm going to stick my little dress on I'm just going to use this tape where I'm just going to put some at the top of the skirt there just to keep it on the card I'm going to stick that in the middle there I think it's really lovely dainty very feminine lovely what I'd call pretty card shall we say it's not something I do a lot of this kind of card making but I really do like that die I'm going to stick this little bodice at the top okay so I'll just show you where I'm up to there I'm hoping that that camera is focusing there okay so that's where I'm up to next I'm just going to use a couple of these little pearls and I'm just going to embellish this little bodice I'm just going to put a couple of these just down the the front of the bodice Okay, 
and then I'm going to stick a couple just round the corners of my ovals of my fancy oval die. I'm just embellishing the card really now just to make it pop a little bit. And then I'm going to use one of these. These are just little ribbon flowers. I've had these for ages and ages from the works. I'm just going to use one of these. Just stick it down in this right hand corner. I just think it fits in nicely with the theme of this card. It reminds me of a very, very sort of vintagey dress. Um, and I'm just going to do a sentiment. And the one I've chosen, it just says, best wishes. And I've cut myself the smallest of that little oval die and I'm going to stamp onto there so I'm going to use my stamp perfect just to make sure I don't make a mess I'm going to heat emboss it using gold embossing powder so I'm just going to put my stamp in I'm going to use my Versamark make sure I've got a nice impression and then I'm going to use my gold embossing powder in fact I think I should get a little bit of scrap paper otherwise I'll be cleaning off embossing powder let's just use that eh? okay so I'm just going to pop on my heat gun okay so I'm going to use some foam pads First of all, what I'm going to do is, I've just got this worn lipstick. I'm just going to go around the edges using one of my little daubers with this pink. Pink. Just round the edge, just touching the edge with my dauber. And then I'm going to put some foam pads on. And I'm going to stick it left hand corner there, just on a little bit of an angle. There we go guys, that's my little card done for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. As always, thank you for stopping by and watching and I'll be back soon. Thank you. Bye.